a lot of um, movies have been made with aliens in them depictions of different species of aliens and um, I'm thinking after looking at this men in black movie called voyage they got this giant alien cockroach and um, we know that they said that cockroaches could survive a nuclear holocaust um, it's like they never die and um, I looked up um, this nebula I was trying to look up what where is the bubble nebula because that's the one that I did a dancing video with so I was searching and I, I found this um, thing about these alien that had the characteristics of cockroaches and um, it was something about destroying the earth and stuff like that and what it was describing sounds like what's going on our earth today so um, I'm going to show that you all thank you um, for tuning in and thanks for watching that dancing video I've already lost some subscribers because they don't like me to dance they think I have no business dancing um, but if I feel like dancing I'm gonna dance from my spirit regardless you all, I am hello that's right you are we gonna go look at these alien cockroaches because I think there's some truth in this men in black movie I've never seen it uh, it might be something I might want to watch if I were to watch a movie so um, let me make sure I've got this on live chat I'm gonna put you all over here hello Susan B Lynn Gina Lynn yeah Aki hello Ah, that's thank you Aki Dave Edwards morning okay that's great it's morning time yes yeah, so let's come over here I found something it was called um, I went to this there's a it's a fandom now it's a Godzilla fandom you all and why did they make movies about Godzilla you have to ask yourself why even make a movie about something like that and where did they ever even come up with the idea with Godzilla so um, my space hunter nebula aliens right here what is that um, I clicked into something and uh, it showed somehow it showed a timestamp let me put this in here I'm gonna read a, only a tad bit from here so you all could see it is what I'm going to do just a tad bit but I'm gonna put the link there so you all can check it out because it sounded really interesting uh, my space alien um, hunter nebula aliens uh, you can see right here also known as the nebulans the nebulans they are an alien race created by Toho that first appeared in the 1972 Godzilla film Godzilla vs. Gigan this is what got me um, the M space hunter nebula aliens are anatomically and biologically identical to the cockroaches of earth but a much larger and possess human level intelligence they also have an unsettling ability to don their skin on deceased organisms like humans to imitate them perfectly you are that sounds kind of gross where did they even imagine something like this that's what I wonder where did they imagine something like this so um, let's look at this not much is known about these aliens culture or what even their actual name is according to the beings themselves they originated from a planet very similar to earth which they shared with another sentient alien species if you're just tuning in I found something on these cockroaches with the men in black and I was I was looking up a nebula and I ran into this thing called um, fandom.com it's a wiki like thing and they're talking about these cockroaches and talking about a planet that looks very similar to earth that they shared with a, another sentient species alien species this is where it gets kind of 
This is really what it sounds like. You all listen to me. It sounds like what's happening now to our earth right now. All the talk, it sounds just like this. You all, I'm going to read it to you. This other species ultimately decimated their home world's ecosystem through rampant over-industrialization, polluting the landscape, and rendering the world uninhabitable. Being psychologically identical to earthly roaches, the M space hunter Nebula alien survived this catastrophe unscathed and built upon a thriving society of their own. So these cockroaches, these aliens, originated from a planet very similar to Earth, and they shared it with another sentient alien species, but the alien species that they shared it with ultimately decimated their home world's ecosystem through rampant over-industrialization, polluting the landscape and rendering the world uninhabitable. See, that's what sounds some kind of strange. And being identical to earthly roaches, the M space hunter nebula alien survived the catastrophe unscathed and built upon a thriving society of their own. It goes on to say, at some point, the aliens grew dissatisfied with their home world's decayed biosphere and sought to take up resident on a different, a different, more hospitable planet. Due to Earth being identical to their home world in nearly every aspect, they chose to settle on Earth, while also making plans to exterminate the native humans as they noted uncomfortable parallels between them and the race that had destroyed their home world, you all. That sounds like what's happening on this earth today. It really does. These aliens, these, um, and the men in black, let's get to this men in black, you all. I got to find out where that men in black thing is. Right there. Why did they make a movie like that? Because I just read about them and it's supposed to be make believe. But is it make believe? I don't think it's make believe. I really don't think it's make believe. They went through all that effort trying to tell us on earth about these insectoid beings right here. And you know that there are people, there are people who have had contact with the insectoid they are a race of alien-like beings, and they, they don't look too benevolent in this picture right here. They don't look benevolent at all. They look kind of monstrous. They really do. And according to this thing right here, these uh, sentient alien beings got on their home planet, which was similar to Earth, and they decimated it decimated the ecosystem through rampant over industrialization polluting the landscape and rendering the world uninhabitable so the aliens survived but then the aliens were dissatisfied with their own home world the decayed biosphere and they sought to take up residence on a different more hospitable planet which was earth because it was identical to their home world in nearly every aspect wait a minute if they found, let's think about this. If these, hypothetically speaking, if these aliens, these insect aliens, these roaches, these monstrous aliens as seen with this men in black, if their home world got destroyed and it was, um, let's see, identical to Earth, what if... CERN is open up because they want to open up a parallel world, a parallel Earth, a parallel world that's almost identical to Earth. What if they do that and they open up a, you know, something to where these beings come in and give this Earth to these beings? Now, I'm being very serious after reading this right here because we know CERN wants to open up a parallel world. A parallel earth he said they said we can learn from it 
we can learn from it and you got these um, insects these insectoids these they want to exterminate the native humans uh, because they saw uncomfortable parallels between them and the race that destroyed their home world what if they've already here on earth Really, what if they are? They're already here on Earth. Now, this may say, Gina, honey, you done lost it? You're talking science fiction. No, I don't think science fiction is all that. I really don't. Look at this definition for science fiction right here. Science fiction is a genre of speculative fiction, which typically deals with imaginative and futuristic, futuristic concepts such as advanced science and technology. We know that Earth has advanced technology that was given to them from um, sentient artificial intelligence, cybernetics, certain forms of immortality. And see, look at all these examples of science fiction. Space exploration, time travel, parallel universe, extraterrestrial life, sentient artificial intelligence, cybernetics, certain forms of immortality and singularity. Um, so science fiction is not really make-believe at all. It's not make-believe at all, you all. It's not. Hello. Who? it's kind of warm up here. I turned off the air. So this is that when I read this one, you all. So this is what they did. Okay, you got these aliens right here. Okay, and now you got this thing called the Dark Nebula Empire. This is really interesting uh, with this thing right here. And some people don't like me going to these comics like, but... Um, I think these comics, these things, have a lot of um, information in them that's probably real. I really do. Let's see this right here. This it, Describing these dark nebulas right here. The dark nebula empire, also known as the Nebulians, are a race of cyborgs. Cyborg beings from the Star Blazers universe. And their skin ranges from light blue to white. And their eyes are bright blue or bright red. They are a highly advanced species with a large empire spanning from the core of their holdings and their namesakes, the Dark Nebula. It talks about the galactic. Listen to this. They ended up in an empty universe called the Galaxy of Light. I want to say the galactic light, but it says the Galaxy of Light. I'm thinking like this. Stories conflict over how they were sent to the galaxy of light. Either after retreating there or starting to develop their cyborg technology or being banished to it by another species. They cyborgs. Okay, what do, we, what do, what do we want to do, you all? Let's see. What do they want to do to humans? Symbiosis. Okay. Symbiosis. Drill that hole in your head. And um, what does that uh, Elon Musk wants to do to people's head? I know they want to hook them up to the internet. And um, what's that other thing? I can't think straight right now, you all. But we got these cyborgs. Um, people is what we've got. Um, I can't even think right now what he wants to do. Hook you up to the neuro. Thank you, A Aki. Thank you. The Neuralink. That's right. So you got these things called the galaxy. They from the galaxy of light, and I can't help but um, think about that galactic federation of light. I can't. But these are highly advanced species right here, with a a mouse a mass. They slowly built up. They quietly, for over the next eighty years, these uh, they quietly built up their military forces, um, and they have massive. Um, they have masses, massive forces, okay. Um, nebulan vessels are also more maneuverable than their Earth or Gamlian counterparts. Designed, specially designed lateral thrusters allowing for rapid horizontal movement. We could have some of these on the Earth, you all. We really could. Some of these vessels on the Earth is um, what I think. And you, Gina, honey, this is make-believe. No. They got this Men in Black movie with these giant cockroaches, aliens. Why would they make that movie? Um, what is it about? Uh, Men in Black, Voyage. Let's look that up, you all. We got to see what that's about. I never watched it. Cockroach, aliens. 
movie. I want to see what it's about. Um, it I can't find it. I don't want to go to something where uh, on here where it's um, Edger the bug. No, I, I don't want to do this. Aliens disguised as cockroaches right here. They are unknown species that decide, dis, disguise themselves as cockroaches after infesting a house. And the aliens are stopped by J and K and forced to leave the house they made. The men in black. The symbiote syndrome. They might be the same species as the cockroach on the sidewalk. So they say these cockroaches can't, you know, they can survive a nuclear holocaust. So what if there is something to these cockroaches? These, like, could you imagine a humanoid-looking cockroach? But then they got that great big mouth on it, like in this picture. That's, like, right beside us since they made the movies. Um, this, this, ain't, this isn't funny. It isn't. And then look at this one. So you got this uh, right here. Um, expanding your perceptions. Okay, now look at this. This is comic books about cockroaches. About cockroaches speech species. And then you have to, you know, they got this bug. Make him kind of look funny. Edgar, Edgar Bug. SS. SS. O one. Why do they say SS01? Um, I'm going to put this in here since this is a link of images that is used in this um, live video. Hopefully I'm not going to be on here too long because um, I might be getting tired. You all really might be. I just wanted to see this. These cockroaches and they've got these movies about them. See, look at that one. A cockroach, men in black versus the alien. Okay, you got that. I want to see these old comics. I've never seen this one. Comrade Cockroach. Comic Vine. I've never heard of that. Security has been breached. Do you ever remember um, a movie about cockroaches? Comic books about cockroaches? Because um, they got one right here. Remember me? You bested me in the Ragnarok reactor, but I have beaten you to the shimmering zone. Yeah, so why would they make something like that? A book about a cockroach species. And or you got this. Terraformer. Villains. Wiki fandom. They terraformed the earth probably. One-eyed, one-eyed aliens and stuff. I don't like cockroaches. I really don't, you all. Now, they try to make it all make-believe, but I don't think it's all make-believe at all. None of this is, really, if you think about it, because it's kind of gross to even... It's kind of gross to think that somebody's mind went to something like that, to alien cockroaches and stuff that are so ugly looking and I don't mean disrespect I don't but it's um they try to make it as scary but what if they really do look like that and they devour the people like you see on here yeah something like it with all of these things I'm gonna click these out with these men in black you I'm about done with it about these cockroaches and these movies about these aliens that's right. Oh, May May, I seen the Transformers. That was pretty cool. I like the first one. I kind of like the second one. And the ones after there, they just threw in too much of that innuendo stuff in there. And I thought you got it. You could leave some of that innuendo out. Um, but it was pretty good about those uh, Transformers. Um, my favorite Martian movie was that a um, was that an insect? Uh, the Predator movie, did that have Sigourney Weaver or was that just aliens? Because that was kind of creepy looking. Or was the Predator like, um, I don't know who played in that. Terraformers, not Transformers. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 
Well, I guess I haven't watched Terraformers. That I have not watched the Terraformers. <laughs> oh, that's funny, May May. Yes, I okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a cartoon. Is it a cartoon? It kind of looks like a cartoon. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, it's a Japanese series. Japanese series. Look at that. Um, Terraformers, a planet colonizing strategy. Oh. So let's let's put this on here. It's a duck duck go. I, I clicked into this UI. I'm gonna put this on here since we clicked into it. <laughs> That's funny. Transformers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see this. Uh, Terraformers are evolved humanoid cockroaches who live on Mars. Well, that's where Elon wants to go. They possess physical traits and skills that greatly surpass those of normal humans. They also appear to be somewhat intelligent. Oh my gosh, they have a natural hatred for humans. Much like how humans hate cockroaches. Oh, wow. The terraformers are human-sized Martian cockroaches with humanoid bodies. Oh, we got to look at this, you all. Okay, so I, I kind of passed that up. Let me put this in here because that's that might that really might come true. There is some kind of striking parallel because um, it's like roaches are everywhere. It seems like they possess the physical traits. Oh, that's gross. Um. What is that thing? No, I don't want to learn more. I want to get that down there. They are, they bear a physical resemblance to Homo erectus. What if they are, what if they are a species like a missing link? What if they are? They are animalistic, adaptable, and bent on survival. That kind of sounds like the reptoids. They are descendants of cockroaches, and they seem to bear a sort of instinctive hatred for humanity. There are many types, and their exact behavior can vary, vary depending on the individual. They usually keep an emotionless expression on their face. Oh, wow. They don't appear to have much of a society, but the evolved terraformers do display a degree of leadership, rallying the brothers into a capable fighting force. Under an invoker's influence, they have a sense of community, but to them there is no difference in attachment to their parents than a roadside flower. They also appear to be somewhat intelligent. They have a great work ethic, and since they cannot feel pain or exhaustion, they're quite liable to literally work themselves to death. These things only serve to help a project to project an evolved terraformer wishes to accomplish a project and evolve terraformia. Oh. They prioritize their targets when they attack humans. They first pick on anyone who is holding something like a weapon. The second are those who are alone. The third is anyone who is injured in the and the fourth are female targets. Oh wow. That's um uh more than 500 years ago. So, May May, are you are you trying to say that these cockroaches, these terraformers, are you still on here? Um, are you trying to say that they're on this earth? Um, Tanya Lynn, that that could be, because if they're on this earth, or they're going to be making their appearance, that's. That would be a literal H-E double hockey sticks on earth for humans. It really would be. So little more than 500 years ago, cockroaches together with some moss were sent on Mars in order to start a Mars terraforming project. 500 years later, when the humans revisited Mars, they saw how much the cockroaches evolved and now have a human-like appearance. Due to their massive strength and numbers, and they quickly eliminated all the bugs crew. Due to an endless downpour of r space radiation and negative 80 degrees Celsius temperatures, this harsh environment 
has finally forced the cockroaches who have not changed their shape in 300 million years to evolve. Uh, using the Bugs One S1 spacecraft, a group of terraformers managed to land on Earth and create a beachhead unbeknownst to the governments of Earth who believed to have destroyed the craft in orbit. Later, when another group of terraformers arrived on Earth in the Pacific, the Nipon America Alliance attempted to wipe them out using nukes. However, before the payload could be launched from a ship at sea, terraformer infiltrators from the first wave of terraformers hijacked a civilian plane, crashed it into a ship. Later, the terraformers went underground after the survivors from the annex returned and the terraformers had been responsible for the kidnappings all across Japan. It seems that they have formed an alliance with China and the Newton clan in gathering human specimens for breeding purposes and as of yet unexplained experiments. You know what? This sounds kind of like it's got some kind of truth to it. It really does. May May. It sounds like it's got some kind of truth into it. Some kind of truth upon reading it. Let's let's look this up. Did I put that in there? Um Let's see. That's a new America alliance. Look at this, you all. We're going to go here. I'm going to put this in here. I, I typed in the Nippon Alliance. And um, we're going to look and see if there is any. I wanted to see if that's so make-believe, there should not be any Nippon Alliance at all. They got a Nippon America Connect with us on social media. Stay up to date on our latest news and our products. Nippon America Catalog. I have a telegram. I rarely get on it, but I share to it. About the New America Alliance, founded in 1999. I want the Nippon. <gasps> Look at that. America Alliance Group. Um, I want to know if there is a Nippon America Alliance group, you all. This is, um, this is weird. It really is the New America Alliance. The only thing's missing is the Nippon. Nippon Alliance. 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 Why would they name something? Nippon American Tools. Nippon American Inc. Japanese. Um. Nippon Cargo. Um, um, let's see this. If you send me something that is inappropriate and whatever, I probably will not watch it. And if it's full of negativity, I probably will. I won't watch it. I won't because I don't want it in my uh, mind. Or anything like that. And if it's anything like political and stuff like that. I don't look at that kind of stuff. You I don't. Um, just so you know. If you're going to send me something political. Um, I probably already heard it. Or anything else. Unless it's something to do with aliens. Okay. Then maybe I may not have heard it. So yeah. That would be the, the difference. That's right. So, um, so that was. Let's see that. Let's see, is there, um, they kidnap people in, is there a Newton clan? Let's see, and is there a Newton clan in China? 
I hope there isn't, you all. If we do this search and there is a Newton clan in China, this is kind of gross. They got the Newton clan terraformers wiki fandom. Oh no. Newton clan history tartan shop. Newton clan Edinburgh. China's new confidence. Newton tribes around the world. Newton. Is that what I typed in? Newton. I'm just going to put this in here too, you all. Because this thing could go down into a massive, massive rabbit hole. Um, just like um, Alex in Wonderland. Just think, when she went in there, the world was upside down. Her world got turned upside down. Um, okay, it's the aliens. Okay. I like the aliens. I, d I don't like them, but um, I kind of like reading about the aliens. I do. That's uh, That's true. Yeah, you can do it. That's right. The alien from the movie Predator. Wow. You all, this is... Um, so that's really interesting. Oh, the leadership. They don't seem to have a leader or a social structure. All of them have an identical appearance and behavior. Uh, their appearance first evolved terraformer. Remember that movie about the bugs? That movie didn't even make sense. The movie, The Bugs, was that what it was? The Bugs, the cartoon movie? The Bugs? Um, why did they make a movie about the bugs, you all? Look at this. <sighs> Bug is a 2006 psychological thriller film directed by Tracy Letts based on a play the name same it's I don't know if I watched the bug movie did I put this in here too because I'm gonna I've got to put all the links in here that we go to you all so um, somebody might want to look at those links whatever showed up on those pages because if you want to find any links a bug's life that's right um, a bug's life why did they do that they wanted you to know about the bugs and like the ants and stuff like that Yes, um, a team of commandos prevent a prehistoric, <gasps> an entomologist accompanies a team of commandos to prevent the prehistoric insects from escaping from a subway system. Wow, I didn't watch that movie. Wow. Yeah, it's a cartoon. There's something else. Oh, no. <gasps> Do you see this, you all? Listen to this thing about the movie The Bug. It's The Bug. Um, an earthquake. Make sure on, the, on that screen. An earthquake releases a strain of mutant cockroaches with the ability to start fires which proceed to cause destructive chaos in a small town. The studies are carried out by scientists who, however, reveal an intent which much more far-reaching consequences. These bugs, and they got a bug, a bug queen. Oh, no. Are they trying to tell us something in these movies about the bugs? That's, um, mm, yeah, The Fly, the movie The Fly. Yes, we've looked up the Vareal, and, um, we've, I've done a movie, I've done a movie, I've done a thing on the Vareal, how they, they're like a little black, warmy thing, they get inside your body, they go through your eye, and then they take over the body, they control the body and stuff like that. I, I did a video on this YouTube channel with the Vareal. It was like a, a black, like a gooey-like substance-like thing. Um, yeah. 
You, the cockroaches in Hawaii are enormous. I remember um, at night, you did not want to go out. You did not want to go outside in Hawaii at night barefooted. There were cockroaches all in the grass. There were cockroaches on the on the pavement, on the sidewalk. Those roaches were either about um, four inches, four inch cockroaches. Uh, they, I'd rather, well, we had, they had the cockroaches, but then they had the big giant centipedes. So I thought I'd rather see a cockroach than a giant centipede after having the centipedes crawling. They get in the house and they crawl on your furniture and they'll crawl on you if you're not careful. They just make their way through the... It's gross, you all. All of it is. Um, oh, Isaiah. They will live after being microwaved? That's radiation. That's right. Oh, cockroaches and mealworms. <gasps> wow. Yeah, it looks like the bug in the men in black. It is the bug in the men in black. Mm. They're trying to make light of these bugs you all these things about bugs and I think it's real now they're talking about a plague of bugs um, the the Hephaestus plague of 1973 well it's a bug's life look one can learn to learn from the movies see that listen to this Movies, though, often seen for entertainment, have many more dimensions to them. One can learn to learn from movies. So if you ever felt that way about movies, why would they write this? That sounds kind of eerie. Um, the Shawshank Redemption. Um, I don't even know what that's about, you all. The Shawshank Redemption thing. No, I don't want to read about that. I'm, I'm getting out of that. I'm done looking at those bugs, you all. I am. That's right. Thousands that died from the heat. And they didn't make the dog food. Prison is... Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Um, yeah, so this seems like there could be like a... um. The evolved terraformers are on the top of the social structure. Okay, they are on the top of the social structure, followed by normal terraformers. And um, under the guidance of their leader, the terraformers are seen learning, organizing, deconstructing. They deconstruct and reconstruct pyramids, farming moths for food, silk harvesting, organizing big-scale attacks and ambushes, taking apart satellites, using weapons to help in the creation of the bug surgery terraformers. It should be noted that after the death, the evolved terraformer on March 20, 20 years later, it took the unorganized terraformers only a week to reorganize and continue upgrading their social structure. Um, wow. You, they can't die. Powers and abilities. Um, heighten agility, strength, toughness. Hey, is this like they have... Um, is this like they have stings like corp Scorpio, scorpions? Do they got hair on them? That's what I want to know. Do those scorpions or whatever these bugs got hair on them? Um, I'm supposed to be over here. Um, they got toughness, sturdy, carcapus. Uh, they're difficult to kill. They're adapted temperature to fire. They possess human-like intelligence. They use a we advanced weapons. Uh, they can move um, up to 320 kilometers an hour in a single leap. Um, they're 
slightly slower than a rhinoceros beetle. Wow. When they're killed, they lay their eggs with all their genetic information attempting to clone themselves and they will survive without their heads on their or their necks broken and they'll still fight so if you encounter them and you think ah cut your head off i'm going to cut your head off they're still going to fight you because they're not going to die their greatest strength is that they are united and undivided driven by their hatred for mankind it makes them truly a deadly and powerful force to be reckoned with. Unlike the humans who are divided by discrimination, political desires for power and land, the terraformers are un unified for the common purpose of surpassing and destroying mankind as a whole. So they just told you about these um, terraformer peoples, these beings right here. Their greatest strength is that they are united and undivided. Driven by their hatred for mankind, which makes them a truly powerful and deadly force to be reckoned with. This is what they say about this. Unlike humans, who are divided by discrimination and political desires for power and land, the terraformers are unified for the common purpose of surpassing and destroying mankind as a whole. I think that's true, and they got it down pat. So uh, the human race will get divided. It will get destroyed because um, of all of this stuff that's going on. They're, they're, I think they, if they are on this earth, they are the ones who are causing all of this because of their extreme hatred for humanity. Um, yeah. So that is not good luck. Master of infiltration expert in disguising all of which the evolved terraformer known as an evoker put to the very good use against their hated enemy man they hated mankind wow look at this they got abilities of the insect and animal kingdom at their disposal they access to mankind's internet and learning multiple fighting styles from the opponents they fought and killed long-range communication so they they've studied they have studied earth already according to this is this what's happening right here is it they got all this kind of stuff demon dragonfly uh tasmanian king crab oh wow yeah this is that's a lot for me to take in even though it sounds sci-fi it probably ain't sci-fi it's probably a lot of truth to it it probably is. Yes, that's all right. You all hit that like button. I'm going to get off of here. I'm, 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 I got to keep this in front of me until I get off of here. Okay. <laughs> that's what I got to do. Keep this in front of me until it's time for me to get off of here. And I'm getting ready to get off of here because um, it's, it's late. It's 10.09. And that ugly face right there is like... Um, I don't like that ugly face. Um, so I'm going to cover it up with um, there. That's better. It's like that. So you don't have to look at that ugly face. Um, I'll cover it up. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go for now, you all. And this may not have been suitable for people. They probably didn't want to hear about um, these um, wiki stuff and these so-called make-believe fiction science fiction uh things but are they really make-believe and are they really science fiction um there's a lot of happening in the world right now that somebody if you would have told them 50 years ago or 30 years ago or 20 years ago these things would happen they say no way they wouldn't believe it um that's all right you all i'm gonna go so um with that being said Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello, from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, it was a little bit different, but I got drawn to uh, a nebula. I was looking up nebula and ran into the nebulan uh, insect roaches. And then I ran into the men in black. And then uh, somebody said, terraformers, may may. You did, not transformers, Gina, honey. That's right. Alrighty, we're going to go have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you all for um, tuning in and thank you moderators. Love you.